Allen Iverson Round Ball Classic. I'm Marcus Burnett, the SUV. Here with Shea Gilgis Alexander and Nikhil Alexander Walker, two Hamilton uh, Heights Christian Academy representatives. Fellas, how's it feel to be here, the inaugural Allen Iverson Classic? Um, it's an honor to be at the, the first ever one. Um, get selected in a, in a great group of guys, and it's fun. To, it'll be fun to get out there tomorrow. How about you, NAW? Uh, I'm enjoying the experience, getting to see the nation's top best players. And Allen Iverson, uh, he changed a lot for the game, so I'm just taking it all in. Now, you guys have been playing in a few of these games here over the past few weeks. Uh, are you at a point to, to where you're just ready to go home and kind of take it easy a little bit, or are you just too busy kind of soaking up the competition and the accolades? Uh, I'm just trying to soak it up as much as possible, and then when I get done with it, I'll get done with it and, and rest. How about you, man? Uh, take, take as much as I can. It's my last high school event, so I just want to make the most out of it and have fun. So how was that Derby Classic experience? I'd imagine, you know, even though both you guys were able to take advantage of it, with you having a lot of the Big Blue Nation uh, faithful there on site, how was it to participate in that Kentucky Derby? Um, it was really fun. Uh, the crowd was crazy. It was electric. The fans were fun all week. Um, we got to visit a children's home that really humbled a lot of the guys. It was fun. Now let's talk, uh, you know, NAW, you're headed to uh, Virginia Tech. Talk about Buzz Williams, not only as a coach, but kind of as a person, and, uh, and, and what you feel it's going to be like playing for a coach like that. I feel like he's the most humble guy I know in terms of who he is, uh, being a celebrity and stuff. But you wouldn't be able to tell. He, he thinks he's an average guy. He does a lot for people that people don't see. He's a great person on the, on, on the court. He's a phenomenal coach. He puts passion to the game. He cares about his players. And off the court, he's going to make sure that everyone is good and make sure we're all straight. Now on the flip side, Coach Cal, one of the things I love about Coach Cal is that he's a very direct guy. Either you're going to love Coach Cal or you're going to hate Coach Cal. But either way, you know, it, it, there's no in-between. What made, uh, you know, you guys connect with his approach and just where you want to play your college basketball? Uh, I think that's what it was, his straightforwardness as soon as he came into the gym. Uh, a lot of people, mentors, guys that I look up to in my life are straightforward with me and tell me to choose and don't, don't sugarcoat anything. And that's, what, that's what I need to be coached by. Definitely. Now, both of you guys are representing Canada. How does it feel to not only be a reflection of the growth of basketball there, but you know, just to also see it when you look at the other players that are representing your country as well? Um, it's, uh, it's, it's been a long time coming now. Canada's finally coming out. They're showing what type of talent we got. And I, I feel like we're almost there with the U.S. Your thoughts on Canada? I think we're, we're making st progress. We're, we're where we want to be. Um, in terms of talent-wise and skill-wise, we're just there with the Americans, the rest of the world. So just about getting exposure now and leaving our mark. Are both of you guys Raptors fans? Yeah, yes, sir. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so what? They, they just tied it up at 1-1, correct? Yep. What do you guys see as some of the keys to that series, man, and being able to, to beat the Bucs? Uh, stopping into the Kupo. He's a problem. Yeah. Your thoughts, man? Uh, they're a bigger team, so we got to make sure we do the little things. Rebound, get out in transition, make them run more, space the floor, and uh, definitely stop and answer the football. Easier said than done. All right, fellas, we're going uh, we're gonna, to we're gonna play a game now. Are you guys NBA 2K players? Not really. Okay, y'all don't really mess with NBA 2K at all? No. Got you, got you. Well, see, the, the exercise I was going to do is I got everybody going through and I have them ranking their play, their their areas of their game, like they're an NBA 2K player. So, uh, you know, your two point accuracy, your three point accuracy, your overall ranking as a player. We'll just do three areas for you guys. So, if you had to rank your two pointer ability, like your mid range game, your three point shooting, and as an overall player, what what are your numbers, man? It's out of it goes to 99, right? Oh, yeah, two point, I say 90. Three point, I say 85, and overall like 87, 88. Now you guys are teammates, so so you're give me give me your your grade on on, on his assessment. Two point, I would say 90, uh, three, 87, and then overall like a, a 90. Okay, okay. Now you you give me those that same breakdown on you. How would you rate yourself? Hey, your your creative player. What, what would the attributes be? Uh, three point, I'm gonna say like 93, 94. Mm -hmm. Uh, two point, you know, 80, 87. But overall, I'm, I'm going to have to say I'm like a, a 91. Okay, okay. Now, you as his teammate, your thoughts on that? Uh, two point, about 45. <laughs> three point, about, his three point better than two. So, 
I'll give it three point like eighty, and overall about seventy two. Now you know these guys are joking. If you saw these guys' schedule last season, you know they weren't going to war against some of the best in the country. If those rankings were really true, but uh, but I appreciate you got to give them a hard time. That's your boy. Hey, I'm signing off here. Shea Gilgis Alexander, Nikhil Alexander Walker. You can catch them in tomorrow's Allen Iverson Round Ball Classic game.